the most embarrassing thing I've ever done on the internet. Hello world and all have it. It's me, Michael M. Mello, and it is October, which means it is the season for pumpkin spice lattes, pumpkins, the leaves are changing color, and especially my favorite thing, Halloween. I take Halloween very seriously. I always try to take a TV show or a movie character and make it into movie posters. So I've been Ash Ketchum, Ron Burgundy from Anchorman, the cast of Twilight, Jimmy Turner, Jimmy Neutron, Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid, the cast of Riverdale, and just a bunch of different Halloween costumes. But this year I thought I'd do a costume that's a little different and something that I've always wanted to do and that's my favorite superhero growing up which is Sailor Moon. And so I'm here to show you how to DIY your own Sailor Moon costume. Or I guess in this case it's considered Sailor Man. So first off, I bought these blue leggings that I just found in the women's section. I don't feel super confident wearing a skirt, especially because it's super cold in Canada. So I decided to go for leggings. Some people might go for shorts. It depends on what you want, but I found these blue ones. It was the right color, so I went with them. Then I went to the dollar store. They had a Christmas ribbon on it. So I just put a bunch of safety pins and attached it. And that's how you make the bottom half of the costume. Simple, affordable, and cheap. Sailor Moon has those like super high heel boots. I tried to find some red rain boots. Couldn't really find anything. Luckily, I already had to run Converse. I put them on with the costume. It looks pretty cute. Gives it a little more modern taste to it. And people still understand who you're trying to be for Halloween. For her gloves, these gloves were from the dollar store as well. They just came simple and easy. And then I actually ended up taking uh, a pair of mittens that I also bought at the dollar store. So I cut the mittens in half, safety pinned them together and then you just have her gloves and you're ready to fight evil by moonlight and win love by daylight. Before her choker situation, it was just simply going to the dollar store, finding some red velcro, then me and my dad, we cut up this moon in the wood shop, we painted it yellow, added some velcro, and you got yourself the collar. It was super fun to like build a costume with my dad because he's a super talented carpenter. You know, his passion and like my nerdiness just kind of came together for a little bit, which was super cool. Then for the tiara piece, this was something my dad and I worked on as well together. We ended up buying plastic uh, sheet paper, which is the same kind of paper that they used to make credit cards. You can just get it at like a Home Depot or a Michaels or something like that. So we took it, we measured it on my head, and then we traced it, cut it out, then we took a thin layer of tape and we taped it on. This tape was originally blue. Then we ended up cutting a little circle so it would stand out a little bit. Then we spray painted it front and back, added some Velcro to the sides, and then we glued on this red sticker. And then you can put it on like that and you can look really cool and you can throw it at people like she does on the show. Then for the upper part of the body at the store, I found this white t-shirt and then I found a old blue t-shirt as well. I cut it like a square so when you stand it up it sees like that and then I ended up cutting the two corners so that it kind of comes like an upside down house. I cut open a headpiece and then with some silver tape I ended up highlighting the outside of it to give that little schoolgirl uniform effect that they do on Sailor Moon. Then obviously I got another Christmas ribbon at the dollar store, safety pinned it on, and now you notice I have hot glue gun, a huge chunk of Velcro to it. So the reason I did this is because that's where the locket's gonna go, and the locket was actually the hardest part but also the most fun part to make. It's so pretty. We cut a the first layer, so as you can see there's like one layer here. Then we ended up cutting a second circle and we ended up edging it out so the Sailor Scout gems would stand out. Then we cut a moon shape, we glued it all step by step, spray painted it down, let it dry, then we stuck the gems on and so then we stuck Velcro on the back so that it stays on and it looks super cute. And then you're Sailor Moon and you're going to have yourself a great Halloween because you are the one named Sailor Moon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making this costume. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Until next time, bye!